Good morning, ain't it? It is Thursday, May 7th, and every time I hear that song of Oklahoma, it makes me want to stand and drink a cup of coffee. Now well, listen, you, you can tell that uh, Janice is not humming our state song. We've got somebody in the studio that's helping us out. We have a great show for you today. Right now it's 60 degrees after a stormy Wednesday in the state. We'll look at some of that news later on. Hi, today is going to be around 77. Thanks for joining us. I'm Steve Kine. I'm Janice Alfonso. Janice, I'm glad to see you again. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, you know, we have a great state song. And if you're from the state, you really like that. And we'll talk with our special guests about Oklahoma and a variety of other things. So Janice, what else do we have on the show today? Well, um, this is not a pre-recorded clip of music. We actually have Kyle Dillingham. This is very live. <laughs> this is very live. Um, we have Kyle Dillingham. We've been listening to him prepare his instruments for his performance today. So we're very hopeful that you'll enjoy it. And uh, we have lots of city news and lots of events coming up. So we hope you're able to sit down and enjoy it with us. Thank you so much. And it's time to rise and shine, Ian. Good morning, Nina, and thank you, AJ. As you know, we have so many people behind the scenes that make this show possible, and uh, we'll go down the list towards the end of the show to thank everybody. But thank you for joining us again. It's Thursday, May 7th. Where does the time go? 60 degrees, partly, partly cloudy skies after a very stormy, uh, kind of a typical May uh, evening here in Oklahoma. Winds from the south around 8 uh, miles per hour. High today is going to be 77, so it's not too bad. And uh, in my hand, entitled Broken Beyond Repair, be difficult for you to see, but on the screen behind us, Janice, you can see the new CD that Kyle Dillingham, and you know what's special about this today? That he handed it to you personally? Y well, that, <laughs> but I believe this is the unofficial official release date oh, because he is so in exciting. Enid, Oklahoma, to sign CDs, and we'll talk about that a little bit later on. So, That's great. Anyway, 733, what's the three-day forecast look like for us? Well, um, after yesterday's weather, I don't know if I can handle much more rain, but uh, today, uh, t on Friday, we'll have highs in the 80s, 64 for the lows, and then on Saturday and Sunday, we'll be in the high 70s. And um, so I'm looking forward to that. But we'll also have Saturday's low 62, and on Sunday, low is 46. So hopefully we'll be able to find something to enjoy for the weekend while all that weather craziness is going on. <laughs> sure. And you know, this is typical Oklahoma weather. April showers brings May flowers, and sometimes it brings May storms. And so our heart goes out, and our thoughts and prayers to the, those that were affected by the storm yesterday in uh, the Bridge Creek area and Chickasha. And, uh, my daughter lives in the Norman area, so I was pretty tuned in to all the, the weather down there. So as Oklahomans, we will come to the need of our uh, brothers and sisters and, and help them out when they need help. So again, thank you for joining us. Uh, we have one announcement. We don't have too many street closings, but um, believe it or not, the splash pads will be opening up next week, and that tells us that summer is close by. Yes, parents and children alike love it when the splash pads are open, so we're ready for them. Uh, they're going to open up in the summer on uh, May 14th, and then the uh, Hoover Splash Pad is going to open up on Friday. So um, we're going to have uh, the hours are from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., and then Champion Splash Pad is going to run on odd days, and Hoover Splash Pad is going to operate on even days. So um, if you have any concerns or questions about uh, the schedule or hours, please feel free to contact the Parks and Recreation Department at the numbers on the screen, 616-7210. And uh, hopefully you'll be able to enjoy the, the splash pads. I always see them very full. So I know it's something yeah. that families look forward to. Very good. 
It's 7.35 on this Thursday morning. I just cannot believe it's already May 7th, and uh, well, we're just moving right along. Yeah. I'd like to remind everybody at 8 o'clock when we go off or our show goes off the air, we'll be playing back uh, the interview that I had with our former NBA player, Brent Price. Remember, we had our NBA show last week. And um, anyway, that was a great show, and uh, got to talk uh, in, in depth with Brent. And uh, we'll air that at 8 o'clock this morning. So exciting. <laughs> so to find out what uh, took place overnight, as you know, it was very stormy. If you were watching any television last night, you know, it had like five inches of rain in, in the southern portion of Oklahoma City, where I used to live. I noticed that that neighborhood received five and a quarter inches of rain. So I know how flat and uh, flooding that could be. But with the Oklahoma Minute, we've got Jacob Zimney. So let's do that right now. I'm Jacob Zimney and this is your Oklahoma Minute. More than a dozen tornadoes and possible record flooding caused widespread damage throughout central Oklahoma last night. We're waiting on good numbers, but areas received between six and eight inches of rainfall over just a few short hours. Twelve reported injured with no fatalities. In related news, a tiger safari zoo in Tuttle was directly hit by the tornadoes, releasing several of the animals. They were all accounted for by late last night. Governor Fallon signed a bill reducing the mandatory minimum sentence for third strike drug offenses so long as all three convictions were not for drug trafficking. Governor Fallon also signed the texting while driving ban that goes into effect November 1st. The Oklahoma House approved a measure allowing school districts to designate a school worker to carry a handgun on school property. The designee will have to attend an armed security guard or reserve peace officer training program. Finally in sports, James Harden led the Rockets to a second half comeback to even the series against the Clippers 1-1. One one. He scored 31 points. In college baseball, OSU will be at West Virginia and OU will be at Kansas State this weekend. That's your Oklahoma Minute. Back to you, Stephen Janis. Very good. That's a lot of rainfall. I would Five. not have wanted to be where those Tigers were. <laughs> well, you know, that, and sometimes we lose sight of that. We, we focus on, uh, I know we had a storm a year or so ago that uh, hit basically a horse ranch and, you know, the animals are involved. Just imagine you're out in the pasture and the storm's coming by. Yeah. So besides humans, uh, humans, uh, the animals get involved as yes, well. Yes, definitely. Well, we're at 737. High today is going to be around 77. Co going to be a golf course day, which I will <laughs> not be at. Partly cloudy sky, but at least the weather's going to calm down enough for folks to kind of recover from the, the storms last night. It's warmed up to 62 degrees, so again, it's going to be a very pleasant day. Uh, what's going on? What are you doing for the weekend? It's going to be a busy one. It's going to be a busy one, but um, I'm hoping it'll get busier once Raquel tells me what's going on. <laughs> My back has been hurting all week. I did a lot of landscaping stuff. You know those bags that you carry full of soil? There's just no easy way to get those from the front yard to the backyard. I wouldn't so. know. My <laughs> husband does that work. So. so Anyway, so I kind of felt that this week. <laughs> so to find out what's going on this weekend, here's Raquel. Raquel? Good morning, Enid, and yes, we have a lot of events going on uh, this weekend. First, we have the Frontier Festival Town and Social Dance. This will be at the Turkey Strip Heritage Center. Um, this will be tomorrow night. It starts at 5. The dance will actually start at 7 p.m. Um, you're more than welcome to get advanced tickets at the Heritage, uh, at Turkey Strip Heritage Center. And uh, Tickets are $5 for the carnival and the dance, $15 if you want a box dinner with it. And it's just like a 1890s home style celebration with carnival games, a cakewalk and such. So hopefully you'll be able to be there. Also, we have the Be Fit Kids Buzz Run. This will be at Enid High on Saturday, May 9th, starting at 10 a.m. You can get your kids registered before um, at getmeregistered.com or that morning. And this is for children two years through fifth grade to encourage them to stay fit and active. Um, so if you're wanting to take your kids out and kind of, you know, get them into being healthy and fit, that would be a great event. Also on Saturday, that same night, um, at the Enid Event Center, there will be a concert, and it's Ramona Yala. He is a Grammy winner. This will be at 7.30 p.m., and you can buy tickets um, online or at the box office. And as always, we invite you to visit Enid, uh, visit, visit Enid.org, and you're more than welcome to look at the calendar of events that's going on. So hopefully Steve and Janice have found something to do for the weekend. So that's what's going on. Back to you, Steve and Janice. I need a few more options. 
More? <laughs> yeah. My goodness. Every weekend there's a long laundry yeah, list of stuff yeah. to do. So. And I get really happy when I see the Enid Event Center, how they're able to achieve getting such varied and different types of artists. So it, it's True. really nice that, that they make such an effort. <laughs> well, what's next? Well, we have Derek Silas. He's going to talk to us about uh, Tech Talk. He's going to talk to us about um, a contractor's gateway. So this is specifically to help you um, enter bids for any uh, city projects. So please, uh, please enjoy what he's prepared for us. I'm Derek Silas. Today I'll show you how to use the City of Enid Bids website. First go to bids.enid.org. Notice that the current active solicitations can be seen on the front page. You can click on the drop down box to view expired solicitations. You will notice at the very top right the fields to enter your username and password. If you do not have an account, click on register as vendor. Be sure to fill out all the information on your company, including your federal tax ID number, the number of years in business, a valid email address and phone number for the contact person. Remember, your username and password are case sensitive. Once logged in, you can download the specifications for the project you are interested in. First, click on the title of the project. Then click on the downloadable spec by clicking on the word project spec link. You can also view plan holders for this project and submit or view question and answers. I hope these tips have been helpful for you. Join me next time where we'll discuss more ways to utilize the website. Very good. Thank you, Derek Silas. Derek does a great job on Tech Talk. We always get informed. He's a lot technical than I am. Thank you for joining us on this Thursday, March 7th. We're holding steady at 62 degrees under a partly cloudy sky. Again, thank you for joining us. Good morning, Enid. What a thrill for me today. We go from the basketball court of the NBA to Kyle Dillingham. Mm -hmm. And uh, Kyle, I was going to shake your hand, but you're holding so many hey, things that we, we, we can still do there. this. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, welcome back to Enid. Thanks Thank for you. being here. Good morning. And, you know, I'm just a homegrown Oklahoma kid, you know, from Perry, Oklahoma, but I love our state song. Yeah. And, you know, people in Florida to the West Coast, they may not know anything about Oklahoma, but they recognize that state song. Yeah. When the wind comes sweeping down the plains. Yeah. I won't sing anymore. Okay. Uh -huh. please, so thank please. you for opening our show with that. Uh, no Tell problem. us about the, the connection to Enid. I, I know you've been around the globe yeah. five times. You're in Oklahoma City, I think, now, but yeah. what's the connection to Enid? How about being born here? That would work. <laughs> that, that probably works. Yeah, I was born in <laughs> St. Mary's Hospital. Okay. 5.02 a.m. Okay. Not around. Yeah. Um, Just two blocks away from where and, we're at right now. And, and raised here. Um, actually, my great, great uh, grandfather ran in the Cherokee Strip land run in 1893 and staked a claim just uh, farmland wow. south of Wacomus. Uh, my mom was raised there. My dad was raised in Wacom in Wacomus proper. He's okay. a city boy. Yeah. And um, and then when they got married, they moved to Enid and, and then had, he showed up. had us kids. And yeah. so um, I'm really really proud of my my upbringing here. I think that Enid is just a it's just a fantastic place to to have a family. Sure. Um, a lot of just it's what's incredible about it is that there's just everything you want. I can't believe the opportunities I had. I think about kids that are studying, for example, violin, and they live in Oklahoma City, and they may join the Oklahoma Youth Orchestra or the youth and and you know that's something that's an organization you 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 audition, you pay your dues, and you 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 do it. And you have all your rehearsals and you do concerts, but Whenever I was in high school, I had an opportunity to actually play contract with the Enid Symphony Orchestra. Wow. And it was something that, that uh, Doug Newell, the conductor, would work with some of the high school kids and give extra rehearsal time to make sure we were, we were prepared to, to play those parts and to be a part of this, 
this larger thing with these professional musicians. There's an opportunity that sure. is just un treat. unreal, right what here in Unity. Yeah. Well, on your bio, and I've read it numerous times, I'm just so impressed with the things that you have been involved in. But one thing that caught my eye, it says that you picked up the violin at age nine, and then eight years later, you just happened to be on the stage at the Grand Ole Opry. Yeah. So from nine years old, picking this up, to the Grand Ole Opry, performing with some top names, how in the world did that happen? Oh, well, once again... In 20 words or less, how did that happen? An Enid connection. <laughs> uh, Roy Clark, okay. Grand National Quail Hunt. Yep. Uh, J.C. Doolin had me playing in the little house band, and Roy Clark got up to do his entertainment, pulled me forward, said, play some Faded Love for us. Everybody went crazy. The <laughs> MC of the banquet that year was the general manager of the Grand Ole Opry, who also came to hunt and said, yeah. you come on out, and we're going to feature you on the Opry. Isn't it always about relationships? Yes. It's always about relationships. Yeah. Ironically, that same year, I didn't make it into the Allstate Orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great story. That's a great yeah. story. Good morning, it's 745. As you can tell, my special guest, Kyle Dillingham, enough of me talking. Kyle, we've got a couple minutes. Would you play something for us? We're, we're going to talk a little bit about your new CD, yeah. and later on this morning, you're going to be doing a CD release, an autograph party, and stuff yeah. like that. But we've got a few mo uh, moments, and uh, yeah. why don't you play something for us, okay. and I'll be right back. All right. And I can hear the applause. I really can hear the applause. Thank you. Steve, just a little introduction to uh, one of my broken violins. All the you mentioned my album, my new album, Broken Beyond Repair. Right. The whole thing has to do is with with these instruments. The whole thing is exclusively recorded using violins whose repair cost is greater than the replacement value, and therefore wow. cost prohibitive to repair and tossed aside. So what you're hearing this morning was broken, but what I wanted to do was bring forth the beauty in these instruments and show how each one of us as well is uniquely and beautifully created in God's image and has value uh, just as we are in our brokenness. And that is the perfect um, introduction to the, another show that we're going to do uh, later on this morning. C in case you've missed our live show, we're going to have more of an extensive and of uh, interview with Kyle later on this morning and so we'll be playing that. We'll learn more about Broken Beyond Repair. So we'll be back with our special guest Kyle Dillingham right after this. Are you wanting to bring home a new family member? don't know where to look? There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Come by the Enid Animal Shelter or visit our Facebook page. Adopt. Good morning, Enid. It is 749 on this uh, Thursday morning. Currently partly cloudy sky, 62 degrees. High today is going to be 77. It's going to be a gorgeous day. Uh, I guess more importantly, it's going to be at least a decent weather day for our friends down in southern Oklahoma to kind of rebound from that uh, storm from last night. To find out more about the storm last night, we have the Oklahoma Minute and we have Jacob Zimney. 
Good morning, this is your Oklahoma Minute. More than a dozen tornadoes and possible record flooding caused widespread damage throughout central Oklahoma last night. Twelve were injured with no fatalities. In related news, the Tiger Safari Zoo in Tuttle was directly hit by the tornadoes, releasing some of the animals. They were all accounted for late last night. Governor Fallon signed a bill reducing the mandatory minimum sentence for drug offenses as so long as all three convictions were not for drug trafficking. Governor Fallon also signed the texting while driving ban that goes into effect November 1st. The Oklahoma House approved a measure allowing school districts to designate a school employee to carry a handgun on school property. The designee will have to attend an armed security guard or reserve peace officer training program. Finally in sports, James Harden led the Rockets to a second half comeback to even the series against the Clippers 1-1. He scored 31 points. In uh, college baseball, OSU will be at West Virginia and OU will be at Kansas State this weekend. That's your Oklahoma Minute. Back to you, Steve and Kyle. Okay, very good. Thank you, Jacob. Uh, Kyle, we have just a quick moment and we'll have you play a little bit more, but your new CD, um, you're going to be at uh, 580, 580, excuse me, easy for me to say, right? Yeah. Uh, Coffee House uh, later on this morning signing CDs, yeah. Broken Beyond Repair. And I've noticed you've got uh, Simple Gifts, How Great Thou Art, The Call, The Lord's Prayer, Amazing Grace. There seems to be kind of a, I won't say spiritual, but that you have old hymns as part of this theme of Broken Beyond Repair. Quickly, can you tell us where's that connection there, be Broken Beyond yeah. Repair? Well, uh, Part of it was that as I began exploring these instruments, began uh, discovering the, the worldwide appeal, everybody was relating to these and everybody was, was saying, this, this is me, this is my organization, this is my cause. Um, I'm that broken violin. And so although about half the album is, uh, is original music, which I wanted to kind of give these instruments their own voice and their sure. own unique song, sure. I also wanted an uh, musically for that to be the, the, the case too, that people could easily connect and instantaneously connect not just to the message of the instruments themselves but to the music. So um, there's some beloved um, uh, pieces and some of them connect directly to the instruments. How Great Thou Art then sings my soul. Um, you can hear um, rattling around in this violin. A lot of them the sound post is down hmm. and the sound post in and uh, for example in French is l'âme du violon, it's the soul of violin. So I love that idea that then sings my soul. Right. Um, I, my, my thought was if there's still a soul then there's still hope. Very good. With some Very of these good. instruments. Um, I can see that we could probably spend three, four hours talking and we're going to spend a little bit longer. <laughs> we'll come back to you in just a moment. Good morning, Ian. It's 7.52. Kyle Dillingham is our very special guest today. Broken Beyond Repair is his new CD that's being released today. It'll be at the uh, 580 Coffee House at 10 o'clock this morning. Go by and uh, say hello to Kyle and also get this autographed. And uh, to find out again what's going on this weekend, besides what's today, uh, Raquel's coming back to let us know what we can do for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Raquel? Yes, well, tomorrow night you can go to the Frontier Festival Town and Social Dance. This will be at the Cherokee Strip Regional Heritage Center. It will begin at 5 o'clock. The dance will begin at 7. This is an 1890s hometown celebration with carnival games, a cakewalk, and a dance. So hopefully you'll be able to go out. You can buy tickets in advance at the Cherokee Strip Heritage Center. $5 for the carnival and dance and $15 that will include a box dinner. Also, we have a BeFit Kids Buzz Run uh, Saturday at 10 a.m. at the Enid High School track. Uh, this is for kids from two years old to fifth grade. They're encouraged to stay fit, so you can take your kids out there, and that's what's going on. So hopefully you'll be, out, be able to go out and enjoy these events. So that's what's going on in Enid. Very good. Thank you, Raquel. And it's 7.53, almost 7.54, and for those of you watching the clock, getting ready to get to the school bus or to 8 o'clock, you probably ought to be going that direction. Kyle Dillingham is our guest on Good Morning Nina today, and uh, that's one name, but Governor Brad Henry at one time called him the musical ambassador for the state of Oklahoma. Yeah. Very impressive title. Kyle, would you play for us yeah. here for a couple minutes?
I, I, I keep I keep hearing the applause, <laughs> don't you? I hear it. <laughs> I hear the applause. I wake up in the morning hearing it. <laughs> oh, that's, that's great. No. But Except, thank you. Oh, really I appreciate you having me on. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, you know, this is the ENA Television Network. It involves channel locally, channel 11. Oh, by the way, we're in high definition. Oh, so dear. get get the oh, hair I over and shave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're in high definition, and uh, the the city of Enid has invested in their city government um, broadcast for city commission broadcast, budget meetings, anything to do with city government. We, we're broadcast on channel 12 and 112, okay. and so we have the opportunity to talk news, weather, sports, Thunder basketball, and special guests like you on our local um, Enid Television Network, and so. We're, we're utilizing the resources that we have, in to, have in, here in Enid to just really highlight individuals, that, as, as they say, that have, that have left home and done good. Kind yeah. of, you know, that's kind of what the, I remember hearing. And so we are utilizing our, our channel 112 in high definition this morning, running this live show. Broken, uh, excuse me, Beyond Repair is, again, is the CD that is being released, I, I guess, officially today yep. uh, across the country with Kyle Dillingham. Kyle, we've got probably two minutes before mm -hmm. we have to really say goodbye this morning. If a young person is watching, and, and uh, I'm going to let you play for the next, say, two minutes to close out our show. Okay. But in a minute or less, if you can, what would you tell that young person who uh, was you back in when you were eight years old, what would you tell them right now? I'd say just um, whatever it is you're passionate about, just pour yourself into it 100%. And, um, and uh, I, I think that, that whatever it is that you're doing, uh, if you just stick with it and really choose to use your gifts and your talents to serve God, that He will open the doors and provide for you in a way for you to do what you love to do for your life. Very good advice. We're going to close out our show. We've got probably a minute and a half. We'll let you choose whatever you want to play, and you just play to your heart's content. Right. Uh, Kyle, thank you for being on our show. We, are, we were looking forward to this for weeks, knowing that Kyle Dillingham was going to join us here on the set of ETN. We wish you well with Broken Beyond Repair. Again, at 580 Coffee this morning at 10 o'clock, say uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, hello to Kyle and tell him that you saw him on live TV. So a.m. to 1 p.m. At, okay. at 580, and with the purchase of a CD, you can also get a free drink. So oh, okay, uh, come on out, enjoy. If you can't make it, however, you can buy the album on uh, download on iTunes or CD Baby. Okay. So broken beyond repair. All right. Good morning, Ian. Thanks for joining us. Make it a great day. Our Father, which are in Thank you.